Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode, more questions and <laughs> a few answers I'm guessing. Uh, it was an episode where we got introduced to a completely new thing that is called the Psych. Uh, yeah, I think that was what it was called. Uh, it's basically a very strong hardware, a device which actually lets you go to the wired in from any kind of like you know handheld portable devices as well it is very strong it's very powerful and someone gave that psych to lane through a letter in, in an envelope you know and uh, in his in a school locker that was weird and we, <laughs> like you know but this show in itself is very weird so like yeah i guess it's normal for this show <laughs> and then we get uh to see a few more weird stuff which was one thing which i actually kind of am realizing and i'm not sure if it's correct or not is that this some kind of split personality is probably something like that you know is involved in this show because lane sometimes acts very differently she kind of spaces like you know like spaces out and suddenly she kind of realizes that oh someone is talking to me and she starts saying weird stuff like for example in episode 2 where she said those kind of things to uh, the guy in the club and there's this another thing like you know people are saying that there's this wild lane who is always in wired who acts really wild definitely not like this lane so these all things kind of like you know summed up together i think most probably some kind of split personality or something similar to that is involved in this anime uh, we'll have to wait to actually uh, you know figure everything out they're giving us small little hints and i'm sure we're going to get to see the whole picture as we go more like you know dive deep into the uh, into the show so we'll have to wait but for now i'm thinking something like that is happening most probably and uh, yeah and then uh like she goes to the club again and asks some uh kids about the whole psyche thing and they kind of tell her how to use it and she's back home she's assembling the pc parts computer stuff and you know her sister comes in and in the end we can get a weird scene where she kind of smiles weirdly at her sister i'm not sure what that was but let's see what this episode brings so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number four of Serial Experiments Lane. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh boy, this song, ah! I, I think like, you know, uh, this series of animes that I'm currently reacting to, every, every anime that I'm reacting to has some banger opening or ending. Like, damn, like, <laughs> the qualities are really amazing. I'm loving these, like all the animes that I'm reacting to currently. Like the openings and endings are just spot on. All right. 
let's see it always starts in this scene you know like every episode that we have been seeing what the hell Okay, religion. Ah, the buzzing sound. <laughs> okay. Damn, this like Lane's room really freaks me out. Like this is like all of these dolls are looking at you when you're sleeping. Damn. What the hell? Overheating or something? When did she become so proficient with technology? Oh, she's uh, reading the manual, I guess. Okay. Like those kids said something like if you read the manual, you'll, you'll, even you'll be able to do it or something like that. Um, what the? Um, hello? Well, previously we saw him pretty excited when his daughter showed interest in technology. It was like, oh god, the sister. Okay. The mom is kind of weird, you know. I don't know why. Yeah, like the way she talks and everything. Well, well, you guys are also weird. <laughs> I think this girl is probably the only. Uh, she's kind of normal, but the mom and the dad both are really weird in their own way. Uh, what the? What, what is that? Hitting his head? What? Um, hello? Who the hell are you? Uh, um, Okay. Damn. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty freaked out. Oh, well, I guess I would also be freaked out if I see a little girl holding a doll in front of the corridor. Oh, damn. Whoa, she has no eyes. What the hell? <laughs> this guy, I'm sorry. This guy's, this guy's screaming really weirdly. <laughs> but I get, oh, all right. You need something? Damn, that's not a kid's voice. That's a that's a middle-aged woman's voice. What's even happening? <laughs> Special staff meeting. High school senior commentary. Again. Damn. <clears throat> uh, 
reading the manual still. Um, oh, she knows. Yeah. Oh. Right. I think her personality kind of changed. Yeah, he, her, the way she's talking as well. She seems really expressive. Yeah, I think she has really kind of changed. I was talking about multiple personality before, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, she really has changed. Mm. Yeah, she's acting weird. Previously, he, she was, she had no. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh great, this girl is here now. Hey. Hmm. Damn, she's still at it. Oh. You should probably set the assignment. Okay. He's contacting someone about this, I'm guessing. Hmm. Ah, oh, Siberia again. Oh boy. One Toma. What the? What's that noise? Like someone's running. Oh wow, I think the girl with the doll is back again or something. Oh, is this a... Oh. 
Oh, what the? Who's this? New, new person. Wait, that's Lane, isn't it? Or yeah, that's Lane. What the hell? What is happening? Is this a game that they these kids are playing as they are saying the Phantom or something like that? Oh god. Damn. I think so. This is that game. It's like a dungeon crawler. Yeah, this is lame. PK. Player killer. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Oh! God, what, what's with the face? Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're out of ammo now. Okay. Oh. Uh, what what are those? Oh, what the? Okay, well, There you go, this is Phantom. Did you get a client up in the wire? In the wired, okay. Hmm. Dungeon, yeah, dungeon crawler. Phantom. Okay. Next to each other, uh, some kind of weird hole. Oh, okay, that's the game. 
Oh, damn, the dead. Ah, okay. What sort of information? Okay. All right, I can kind of guess that like Yeah, I can I can probably understand what he's trying to say because we've seen a lot of people who actually Oh, damn, what's with the smirk? Oh, wow, Lane. Calm down, Lane. <laughs> Well, she has the psych, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't think so, Lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is not the same Lane, obviously. The one we knew f from the beginning was... Uh, the expressionless girl who always was kind of spaced out <laughs> but now she's kind of I don't know freaky okay <laughs> message of happiness oh wow can it exist rather thought itself that oh they can be thought of religion oh they're spreading throughout the wire Okay, well, we're <clears throat> I'm being followed. Oh, it's, it's those people, the, the people we saw in the previous episode, I think. Or, what, no, what is that? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. It's those people, aren't they? Yeah. Oh gosh, freaky. It's like a sniper rifle laser at you, like you know? Like anytime you'll be shot or something like that. Um, hello? You have anything to say? Whoa! Whoa! What the? Is that like psychokinesis or something? Oh god, what is happening?
to be continued yeah as always i have no clue what's happening but <laughs> still stuff are happening and you can kind of see lane is changing little by little now in even in the previous episode we were still able to see uh like you know our previous lane like you know the lane how lane was in first second episode you know that stoic expressionless ditzy type of character even in the previous episode that is episode three those like you know that we we still had that personality lane a little bit but in this episode i'm not sure it, it seems as if she has completely changed if there's no nothing like that the, the lane that we knew before ah uh, well like the first biggest change that we can see is the way she interacts with people like like nowadays she talks really normally like you know like she has expressions while talking with other characters she smiles and she like you know expresses her opinions but the lane we knew from episode one and two she was very expressionless she just like you know like talked in a monotonous voice and it was kind of ditzy in a way like you know a little bit of spacey <laughs> oh boy but yeah it has changed and that's why his her friends were also saying something like he has completely changed and all that stuff so yeah like i'm i'm not sure what that actually is maybe it's somehow the influence of the girl from first episode that you know the girl who committed suicide and said that oh like i've only uh, left my mortal body i'm in this world and you know something like god is here or something like that he said she said like who knows maybe it's some kind of influence of her or something because it, it, it kind of makes sense if that really is her influence because you know as she said that i don't have any body maybe she's roaming around in the wire you know and that's why she wants because she has contact with lane she wants lane to uh like you know get into the wild as soon as possible because everything started happening she kind of started changing as soon as the dad brought a navy for her and she started getting interested in it and she got the psyche or the, the, the sick sick the, uh, what do how did they pronounce it psych no sick ck or something like that I'm not sure but like you know i'm going to like pronounce it like psyche so like that psyche thing that little little thing that she got after she got that and after she got her navy she started changing completely and now she's like a completely different person so yeah it kind of feels weird to see lane actually express emotions you know because <laughs> she like you know the first two episodes kind of made her you know like we saw her as a character who is very stoic very uh, expressionless kind of spacey <laughs> and talks very less it's you know does not express much but now suddenly she's like talking laughing and you know anyways all right this episode nothing much to say because it's basically Lane fixing her navy and we got one more thing one more new information is that mm, just like where was it? oh okay here it is fat what's the name Fan phantoma yeah phantoma i think the game phantoma now it's a game which is being played in the wired and i'm guessing that the, the, they kind of showed us the game that we saw it's like a dungeon crawler and weird stuff are happening in that as well as we can kind of see lane inside it i'm not sure what that was like lane kind of looked like a spirit roaming around and there's this another weird girl with a doll you know little girl kind of roaming around as well and uh, i don't know what that was you know like there's there's a lot of things and like none of them have any explanation proper explanation it's just like you know every episode they're kind of introducing a new thing 
giving us a little bit of explanation of what it actually is for example in this episode we get some information about phantoma what it is and you know like how it is used and the people are you know the little kids are playing it all that stuff other than that nothing everything that happened inside the game like you know like why lanes there's like a weird spirit of lane you know glowing lane who was that why what was she doing there you know that's one one big question who was that little girl with the doll another question like you know and like why are like weird stuff happening like there we saw like this this guy who was kind of running away and then she finds that little girl with the doll she you know he kind of shoots the girl and then we suddenly see him in on top of a roof with some like you know white blanketed things those were like i'm guessing bodies or something you know he was kind of there sitting there and then we see like a weird lane like you know like glowing lane in there like all those things like <laughs> no explanations all right and then uh also a little bit of thing we got to see here is the dad now is that i think like her dad tried to kind of warn her as he said that i have a warning um, which says something like it said something like do not mix up the wired with the original world and i think he's kind of correct in a way because most of the people that we are seeing here who are like victims here they like everything kind of like you know each and every one of them basically they lost touch with their reality they 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 forgot to make a clear demarcation of reality and the you know and the wired that's why like you know that guy from the first uh not first i think seven episodes who shot himself like that guy mm, but he, he was under the uh you know influence of excel that was a little bit different but still and then there's this kind of like you know these characters that we're seeing in this episode the guy who was kind of running away all these characters we can see they they, they kind of like you know losing the sense of what's reality and what's actually the wired and his dad i'm sure his dad uh, her like you know lane's dad must have had some kind of uh past with the psyche or something because i remember in the previous episode like uh i think it was the second or the first episode where actually lane goes to her uh, him and says that i want a uh, navy personal navy his dad was so happy so excited he was like you know laughing really weirdly <laughs> he was like hey, 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 hey oh my god my daughter is finally you know <laughs> interested in technology like i get it like she he himself is very like you know you know interested in technology so if suddenly like you know if her if his daughter comes and says that the the, the that daughter who never really wanted anything to do with technology who was not really uh who did not care about technology if she suddenly comes and asks you know her dad to buy her a navy which his dad is very passionate about obviously his dad uh, her dad was very excited and he was like okay i'm going to buy you the like you know navy and he brought it really quickly for her even the latest model he said that this is like the most powerful the latest model like it's for you and he was so happy and like you know in the third episode as well he kind of came and like you know and asked lane like oh lane like how is everything going on and lane was like okay like everything's going well and then len shows him the psyche and asks him what is this his dad completely changes it's like a full 180 he he becomes expressionless he goes back in this episode again he comes and again he he's acting weirdly he's talking like you know he tries to actually make lane realize that like you know that's the wired and this world are different like do not lose control of it but Lane uh, herself has also changed. She's like, yeah, like, like I think you're wrong, Dad, because, you know, like, it, it really is kind of... <laughs> what did she say, actually? She said something like, uh, no, it, like, you know, the boundary is really kind of vague. And uh, his dad was like, oh, really, is that so? And then his dad, uh, her dad goes away. Yeah, her dad says that, do you understand what I'm warning you about? And Lane kind of smirks and says that, you're wrong. <laughs> dad was like, huh? <laughs> the border between the two isn't all that clear. There you go. 
and the dad was like oh okay she says that i'll be able to enter it soon in full range full motion i'll translate myself into it even with the top of the line civilian name uh, yeah like and then he she says that i can do it i modified mine and then she says that I'm still me and her dad is like, oh really? I hope so. And then the dad goes away. Like I think that like something like that, like she, he must have some kind of past with the psyche or something. That's why he's kind of acting weirdly. After he gets to know that uh, Lane, that his daughter has that thing. So who knows, maybe we'll get some answers in the future. And there's this another weird thing that's happening. These black suited guys. Like who the hell are they? they they're always like keeping an eye on them and like in this episode as well like it's kind of pointing their lasers on lane and lane kind of shouts that go away or something like that and like there's like a wave going out and it broke and the weird part over here is after lane says that the computer says something the navy says something like intruders have been repelled or something yeah i think it said something like that so a lot of things are happening and there's a lot of like you know mysteries a lot of secrets in this episode as well mm. <clears throat> excuse me and lane has completely changed here like he never used to she never used to kind of talk like that and it's kind of i'm not sure kind of seems like she's changed you know a lot of ways like everyone is saying she's changed so yeah she definitely has changed now the question here is why did she change or how did she change? is it somehow the influence of that ghost or is it something else that's the biggest question here so yeah like and uh, again like as i said like, you know this is like i can probably understand uh, what this show is about i, I like in my like you know i think most probably if this show is probably something like you won't be able to get anything unless and until the last few episodes come like everything will be like this it will continue and you'll be like utterly confused throughout the whole show and like random weird stuffs are going to happen and maybe in the final episodes we're going to get some kind of you know uh reasoning behind everything and we're probably going to understand what was happening all the all like you know all along and like up until the last episode we're probably going to make new theories like you know every one of us like whoever is watching this show is probably going to have their own interpretation of the show and by the end of it you're going to actually see what is happening how much your interpretation was wrong and how much was it correct and all that stuff so yeah <laughs> interesting so like I like I like the fact that everything in this show is basically like they kind of go into something you know like start explaining about something you see something a scene in the you know uh, episode and then when it the scene kind of plays out and then without explaining anything else like in the in the midway abruptly it kind of changes into another scene. And we are kind of left with a, in a confused state as to what the hell is happening, you know, and um, like it's like a mystery. And then maybe in one of the future episodes, we're going to see a continuation of that scene or something relating to that, which probably we would be able to uh, like, you know, put together and actually realize that, oh, that in that scene, this was actually happening. So m most probably like, you know, like it, it's something like that. <laughs> So yeah, like again, as I said, like weird stuff, most of the thing we have no clue about what's happening. Like I'm going to like kind of list a few stuff which we still have no clue about. Number one is that buzzing sound. Number two is the weird patches. I'm not even sure if that's somehow related or not. That weird red and blue patches in the shadows that we see. Uh, another thing is that ghost that we saw in first episode and we have not seen her from that episode again. But it feels like she is here somehow. She's kind of influencing Lane. That one. Uh, the mom and dad, they're really weird. I think the only puppy person who is not weird in this family is the sister. <laughs> like, like, the mom, like, I think the most weird person is the mom. Like, she talks in a really weird way. Like, I don't know. And then, like, just a sec. In this episode, uh, 
the mom says that Mika, uh, Mika is the sister's name. Mika, watch your tone. When Mika was talking with her dad in that manner, and the dad is reading the newspaper, the mom stands up, and the mom says, "Is she right?" The dad says, "Yes." And then the mom goes to the dad and starts patting her his head. What? And <laughs> and the, and the dad kind of like you know pulls her closer. But. <laughs> What? what what is that what was that like <laughs> i don't know man this is weird but yeah like i yeah i was kind of saying what what's weird in these like you know in this anime what what things we still have no answers about uh, as i said like you know uh the the buzzing sound the patches uh this uh what do you call it uh, the mom and dad and like you know everything lane herself is now kind of acting weirdly uh the psy uh, the psyche everything like it's, it's a total <laughs> what can i say like confusion and i love it i'm sure we'll get your answers so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to serial experiments lane episode number four so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Seal Experiments Lane. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.